you just got your brand new expensive mobile router use it for IRL streaming but it's not really working as intended maybe it's overheating as well your encoder does want to work with it so in this video I'm going to go over all the settings they need to change once you get your Nighthawk and also a few more little tips let's get into it so let's start with the hardware side let's go on the back and remove the back plate underneath you'll see the big battery unfortunately the Nighthawk overheats with the battery so it's basically useless as far as I'm concerned you could go and throw it in the bin because you will never use this for IRL streaming or any other streaming purpose take a picture with your phone of this blurred area because you're going to be needing this info to access the router you also want to insert the sim card that you're going to be using for streaming you can just use the micro adapter if you have a nano one so you're all set and you can close it so to power the nighthawk you can really use any power bank it doesn't use that much power just make sure it's usb-c and that you have at least 10k milliamp hours cool so as soon as you plug it in it should start if it doesn't unplug and plug back in the other side of the usb cable because maybe your power bank went to sleep now you want to grab your phone and then you want to log in to the router's wi-fi network usually it's going to have nt in its name so it's going to be easy to recognize the password is the key that you took the picture of. If you succeed, it's going to automatically open up this window. Just close it and then go into your phone's browser, open a new tab and type in 192.168.1.1. That is the IP address of the router inside the local network. You should be greeted with this screen now. It's asking for local credentials. Usually the username is admin and the password is admin. Sometimes even leaving it blank will work. If you're having issues, try Googling the exact model of your router. Okay, once you're in, tap the top right menu, go into setup and mobile router setup. So there's a few things. You want IP pass through off, you want DHCP on, and this next part is very critical if you're using something like my budget IRL streaming setup with a dedicated encoder that has a fixed IP address. You want to change this ending IP address within DHCP from 1.99 to 1.250. In our example, the TBS encoder is fixed to 1.217. And without this change, it would never get internet access from the Nighthawk. Now the next setting under tethering it needs to be on charge only for the usb port and the ethernet standby mode must be disabled this is important because the nighthawk sometimes doesn't recognize the power bank as a power source and wants to i don't know send data to it this way we make sure that we avoid this problem great now we can go to advanced settings cellular here you want to enable data, band region auto, network mode, you can leave on automatic. But sometimes Nighthawk wants to connect through Verizon if you're using an AT&T SIM card and it's just very stubborn. So if you see that it's very stubborn and it's not working, put it on manual and just select your provider manually. If you put in your SIM card, now you can go and Google the APN settings for your provider. And then you can come back here and just add the settings that you see on their website. This is basically your login info into their network using your SIM card. And just a few more details. You should set the screen timeout to one minute to save battery. In other settings, this is what I'm using. It doesn't matter all that much though. Just one more thing, depending on all the devices that you're using, for example, if you want to stream wirelessly with a GoPro, make sure to have the Wi-Fi bands that that device can hook on to. If you think that all your devices can go for 5.8 gigahertz, then have the Nighthawk only on that band. That's gonna save battery because if you're gonna run both of the bands, you're gonna be using up a little bit more battery. And that's about it for this guide. If you wanna buy a Nighthawk, make sure that it's unlocked for all providers and that it's also for your region. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna support the channel. If you have any other questions or need help on the topic, stop by our Discord at discord.gg slash and I'll see you in the next one.